Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Thomas of Woodstock and we get to hear from Tresillian today in Act 4, Scene 1. Now he's having a fairly decent scene so far. He started off um, putting a whole bunch of money into a safe place and then he has been chatting with the other flatterers talking about the money that has been coming in because of these blank charters and how much he slash they are going to keep versus how much they actually give to King Richard. And he's not really bothered about the ethics of withholding money from King Richard because without money you have no status and they want to keep their status. And they continue on with that line of thinking saying that they should actually be the farmers and the owners of the land in England. And they'll pay like a little, a little, little bit of rent to King Richard on like an annual basis or whatever, but then they can just collect the money from all the people that live on the land that they own. So they want to divide up the country into four so they each get their, their piece of it. And these the documents to make that happen are almost ready and would have been signed, except King Richard is upset that Thomas wouldn't come back to court. Because remember, he sent for him because he was like, if there's going to be this uprising, you know, Thomas is popular with the people. He can help, you know, keep everything calm if he's at court. But Thomas was like, um, no, I need to be where the people are. So he refused to come to court and King Richard is upset about that. So after the, the flatterers have chatted and they're like, yes, we're gonna take the land, we're gonna split it between the four of us, we'll collect all the money and we'll pay a little rent to, to Richard. Richard comes in with Green and he's like, he really wouldn't come? And Green is like, yeah, no, he said that he wouldn't come. And King Richard is like, well, he's just being obnoxious. Has anybody else ever been this obnoxious? And Green's like, well, why don't we just, you know, take care of it. And Richard's like, yeah, I'm sort of like, I've had it about up to here and I really wish that I could get rid of him. And Green's like, all right, let's get him. Let's take care of this right now. And Richard's like, no, we can't. We can't actually do that because he is still very beloved by the people and they would get mad at me if they knew that I had him executed. And Tresillian's like, I have a plan. I have a plan for exactly that. And Richard's like, ooh, ooh, tell me your plan. So Tresillian says, then thus, my lord, whilst the Duke securely revels in the country, we'll have some trusty friends disguise themselves like maskers, and this night ride down to Plashy, and in the name of some near adjoining friends, offer their sports to make him merry, which he no doubt will thankfully accept. Then in the mask, we'll have it so devised the dance being done and the room voided. Then upon some occasion, single the Duke alone, thrust him in a masking suit, clap a wizard on his face, and so convey him out of the house at pleasure. So this is a kidnapping plot that he's sharing. Tresillian has a plan to kidnap the Duke of Gloucester, Thomas of Woodstock, and get him out of Plashy back to court. He's like, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna send an acting troupe. And the, the sort of ask, acting troupe that uses masks, we will send them to Plashy and we'll have them say like, this is a gift from so-and-so so that he will accept and he will invite them in and they will do their show. And once their show is done and there's nobody else around, they will sort of grab the Duke under some pretense put a costume on him, put a mask on his face, and they will take him with them when they leave the property. And the king is like, well, but what if he's like yelling and screaming? And Tresillian's like, that's why they have drums. They can just beat their drums and then his cries for help won't be audible. And then Green tomorrow is going to build on this plot and make it a smidge, just a smidge more nefarious because, you know, Kidnapping somebody and disguising them as an actor isn't quite nefarious enough in this case. So anyway, come on back tomorrow for more. Mwah.